Hi, this video is going to go into using a scheduled action to routinely send an email. The use case we're going to be doing in this one is just using uh, Inside CRM for opportunities to send a follow up email to them on, say, the first or the 15th of the month. Obviously, we can use that also for, say, sale orders or whatever other model we want inside Odoo. And so we're going to be doing this by creating a server action first and then a scheduled action to be calling that one on a routine basis. So I've already created an email template that I'm going to be using for this. And next we have to do our server action. And I'm in debug mode right now, so I'll be getting the technical actions in here as well. And I can immediately go to server actions. We're going to go and we're going to create a new server action right here. I'll just call this routine email. The type we want to do is just to be sending an email. So we'll select that one. And then we get our option for our email template as well. We want to do this on our CRM leads. So I'll select lead slash opportunity. I've created my template and I'll be selecting that one right here. And then we can pick how we want to send this email of. And we get a little information about each one. The default is message, and this means it's going to be posted as a message in the uh, chatter on that record. And it'll see that we can uh, have it in the messaging history. If we have it as an email, it will just be sent to emails um, who are the recipients in that template. It's not going to appear in the messaging history in the chatter. Or a note is going to be all internal to the chatter. I'm just going to be doing it as a message so we can just see it uh, pop up there right away. And once we save this, the last thing I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to hit our debug icon. And if we go to view metadata, we can see the ID that we have here. In this case, this one's very easy to remember. Following that, now we have our email. Now we have to create our scheduled action so we can be sending that out. So we'll do scheduled action. And we're going to go and just create a new one. We can see already that we have a different view since we're working with a scheduled action. And the setup for that is going to be different than a server action. So once again, I'm going to name this one routine email. And just for the sake of searching it later, we'll do send routine email. We're going to select our model again. So we'll do lead slash opportunity. And then we can see when we want to execute it. We'll do this, say, once a month. And we can set the next execution date. And this is when it will start. So let's say we want to do it on the first of the month and let our opportunities know on the first of the month what's going to happen. Number of calls means how many times Odoo will be trying to do this. In this case, this would just do it once. And if we hit, hit a negative number, it's just going to keep on doing that indefinitely. And we'll always be able to send these out. Five is the lowest priority. So we'll just shift that to one because I want to. Next, we have to lay out the code that we're going to be wanting to do in here. And I've got a lot of it blocked off and I'll just be pasting that in. And so what we're looking at here is that the server action that will be running, we're defining it as being an environment and the environment is the model that we're working from. In this case, ir.actions.server is the technical name of the model server actions. And then browse, and we're gonna be putting in to be looking for ones with that ID uh, that we pulled from our first uh, server action that we created just to send the email, and that was 555. So now we'll be looking for that server action 555. Next, we're going to define what records we're going to want in there. So I'll drop that in as well. And so again, we're going to define the environment that we're going to be working in. In this case, it's crm.lead. What we're doing here is identifying which records this should be applying to. So we could say we want to apply to all 
or we could specify specific ones. In this case, uh, let's say we wouldn't have to do it with opportunities that we've already won. And we're not really worried about them going away at this point. So we'll do stage ID, which is the technical name for that model. And then we'll do ones that are not equal to four, which is going to be just the ID uh, out of the box for ones that are in the one stage. So we define that we want to send to ones that are not in the one stage. And then our last line that we're going to be taking is saying that we're going to be doing our server action with the context of active records, following these parameters and active model is again going to be crm.lead. And then we'll just have run following with our brackets. So we can go ahead and save this. And we can take a look at one of our opportunities. So we've got one here, product pricing, and we see that we've got uh, nothing new happening. Just an automatic thing that Odoo did after I created it. So now we can go back to our scheduled actions and we'll do find our send routine email and we can go ahead and run manually just to test it out. And we see if we're not updating our execution date, uh, but we will be able just to see if it worked. So we'll go back to CRM, go into that product pricing. And we know that our scheduled action works. And if we run it manually, it's going to go and send that email um, automatically. And we'll be able to then have that just recur the next time being on February 1st, and then it'll be a month after that. Thank you.